we have seen or heard them on stage sublime in performance what goes on in their minds what lies behind the choices they make the paths they choose here is a glimpse into an artist's mind an exploration of an artist's journey both in art and in life with a treasury of insights it is about who they become as they evolve into artists their transformation through the struggles in that journey discover the human behind the artist you shouldn't fight with life you should move with life if you move with life creation takes you to all places because it is very kind it will take care of whatever you want it will take care of you very well learn to flow with life I think I was 5 years old when I could understand about family its importance and the relationship with music. When I was a young boy my mother used to take me to functions which were bharati functions. I didn't know a thing about him at that time and I used to observe that all the people who gathered were gathered there had a tremendous respect for this man. and they showed great respect towards my mom too as a youngster what struck me was this should be an on off guy something special my mother used to sing and uh, as a five year old kid she had also taught me a few songs and uh, she would ask me to render those songs and i would render those songs and then the people around me will come come to me and uh, speak nice words loving words over a period of time then i could make out this is a special family i have been blessed abundantly to have been born into this family as the great grandson of the poet that was the first impression about bharati for me and though i used to listen to more more of bharati songs in my family of course uh with uh, only Uh, when I was around eight years old, we were able to get a radio set in our house. Before that, we used to go to concerts, right? You have this uh, Radha Kalana Utsavam, and uh, there used to be Chamba Vidhan Adras Bhav concert every year. So it was very nearby. So we used to, we used to walk. And now I recall that uh, my family, my parents were both well versed. in carnatic music in those days every household i think particularly a brahmin household had music carnatic music in their blood it was not a surprise so i had a an ear for music i didn't have a great taste just an ear to listen to music and of course learning bharati songs and singing simple songs like arpanayur endra nagarunda ang gandharuvar vilayaduvaram soppana naad endra sudarnaad ang shoonda varyavar kumperu vagai and the mari small songs were taught to me my mother was a good singer in carnatic music too she was a graded artist in the all india radio she has given a few concerts and uh, and at one particular point i have also accompanied her <laughs> giving my voice support and taking part in her concerts therefore i would say music was naturally in the family i think even bharati was a great musician himself
the first thing that struck me about my grandfather great grandfather was his great love for the nation he had tremendous love for his mother country which was quite evident in the the songs that i, I got to listen and people give lectures isn't it see i, I not only bharatiya functions had not only songs by my mother but people used to give lectures on bharati and his writings as you listen to all these lectures oh oh this much and uh, another thing that struck me was his uh, oneness with things of course that struck me at quite a late, later stage uh he had no disparity uh, as far as uh, divisions in the sense class subdivisions something higher something lower these people belong to a higher caste these people belong to a lower caste such divisions were not there for him was something that amazed me at that age how could somebody be like that particularly if you are born into an orthodox family and still you have such outlook towards society is something uh, that speaks volume volumes about the great man and uh, my mother used to narrate this incident that is uh, he was a very short tempered person <laughs> suppose uh, there was an instant and he lost his school this temper would run so high that he would even throw objects <laughs> at people who or at his wife or somebody maybe uh, maybe at his wife that's all right some of the people had the trait subsequently after some time passed he would go to his wife and say chalama and the bardi se tu beta pudu bardi vandirke it has left an indelible impression in my mind what guts it takes for a man for a male to go and tell his wife it is an apology actually but it is something more than an apology that fellow is gone dead and gone this is new bharati that he was a person who lived in moment moment to moment it's a something unique such qualities had an impression on me and i think uh, what i have been able to follow in my personal life has been uh as i told you this oneness with things i am i am i am naturally inclined to consider all things as same bharati was a nadvaiti very staunch advaiti you can see in many of his songs the famous song is kaake chiriganile nandalala nindan kari neran tonru dada when you look at a crow we only just push it away or chase it away but he saw the divine color in that the hue of the lord was what he saw in the crow parthum marangalallam nindan pachi neram tonru dada all the trees the greenery in the trees the foliage i am able to see the lord so this opened up a new avenue say so what is it that he is talking about and elsewhere in his own one of his compositions jayaberige kottada anurla kakkai kuruvi engal jaadi neel kadalum malayum engal kootam this is my clan these are the people who belong to, to which to this race i belong to kakkai kuruvi engal jaadi neel kadalum malayum engal kootam and then when he says nokka nokka kaliyaattam what is this kaliyaattam the revelation that everything is the same whenever there is a revelation you tend to dance no that has been the case with archimedes or even great greek scientists we have heard stories about them no kamidam elam namanri verillai so nanda kaka nanda kurvi nanda kadal nanda malai nodne no kum tesegalam namanri verillai wherever you look it is nothing but we no ka no ka kaliyatta so and advaiti advaitic philosophy of bharati is something that uh, 
has guided my life. My mother Lalita Bardi was my first guru in the sense she initiated me into the basics. The nearby place, there was a music school. It was a school in which the music classes were conducted by a musician called Valdiur Guru Murthy. So I went there to him and I became a student first as one of a, one of a group member because the class is only a group class. Subsequently, I became his one-on-one -on -one disciple. I think for uh, 10 to 12 years, I was a student. I was fascinated by the thilanas of Dr. Balamulli Krishna. My mother took me to him and told him that my, my son is fascinated by your thilanas. He would be very happy if he can teach a few. He accepted me as a student, but, uh, but he started teaching more of his compositions. In a beauty, you know, over, over a class or a, 10 15 minutes now. I'll go, he'll take a our song he will teach, I'll learn it, finished. Next time I go, I sing and show, next song. And then uh, from Anala, there was a, an urge in me to try other forms of music. Hindustani body can In those days there were not many people available in Chennai who can teach Hindustani music. If I remember right, either it was TVG sir or MSG sir. So I went to TVG sir and told him I want to learn Hindustani. He said, okay. Wow, he said. And then uh, he started teaching Hindustani. Other end Hindustani, you should be, because in Carnatic music, we keep the talam, right? By putting the Talam, reckoning the Tala and with the elements and other things. Whereas in Hindustan, you are totally dependent on the Tabla artist. And so he told me, you have to spend time with the Tabla artist. And invariably, if he had observed, all the Hindustani vocalists were able to play on the Tabla. That was a must. Of course, I didn't find much time. What happened was, uh, TVG sir one day invited me. Hindustani I said, no, <laughs> I'm open to anything. He said, oh, don't, uh, come on, you can sing with me, he said. Oh, that was a new avenue. So there was uh, a concert of his, and he asked me to accompany him. He had a large heart. He gave me a mic. In those days, uh, only few concerts had that privilege. If I remember Sudha Raghunathan, Sudha Venkatraman, and the Galatala, she used to sing with MLV Amma, and MLV Amma used to give her a mic. At times, DKJ used to give a mic to his disciples. So, TVG sir gave me a mic and asked me to sing along. Not only that, he will give spring surprises. Okay. Suddenly, for instance, I think it was in Krishna Gana Sabha during a December season. Gana Murte. What happens is normally by evening we will sit down and put a sort of list, a sort of list. But once we ascend the stage, it undergoes <laughs> a change. So suddenly Gana Murti was in the agenda. Gana it was going, I mean, the song was being rendered and suddenly. I was keeping quiet because he will sing so the violinist will reply and say, Padu, he said. <laughs> I, I think you never believed in secrets. Allah may open the mic. He speaks through the mic, therefore everyone listens and everyone can hear. Suppose he said, Padu, yeah. can you sing? It's a different course. Totally different story. Padu, that's all. So everyone knows. Probably, he believed that I could sing. So I never hesitated. Padama padani, nida padani, gana murte. The next one. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he will say. Hey, then you are not sure how long you have to sing. I have done it then. Perisa padamatiya. He has. Perisa padamatiya ni. Oh, perisa padamatiya. Patapanji, fifteen hours and twenty hours. Ah, ah. 
Korovari Mudi, you will say, such experience as I could get by singing along with him. That was a different exposure. See, uh, learning from a guru one-on-one, -on -one, face to face is an experience. And then sitting on the stage with a guru, you not singing, but being a listener or putting on putting the tambora or doing some uh, any help that is needed is a different stage. But if you also participate with some importance being given to you, because you have, you have a microphone, you are audible, your quality of music is being heard, so that's a different experience. And suddenly he will venture into Samuraga, Parya. <laughs> I was always uh, thrown open to such uh, surprises. I think it, it also went well with my nature not to be perturbed by anything that happens around me, but just to respond, not to react. Just to respond to things thrown at me uh, was kindled by TVG. So that's how the journey proceeded. <laughs> I think I joined him in 80, somewhere close to 1980. I was working in a company, you know, so that's how. And the time, he was in Basel Nagar, my company was in Thiruvannur. I just went to 20 plus. 21, 22 years old. And within one or two years, all these things happened. And uh, I was exposed to the bigger stage, you see. You perform in bigger concerts, the sense, famous venues. And you perform with very highly accomplished accompaniments. MSG sir, Palga Ragu sir, VVS, M. Chandrasekharan sir, Shivraman sir, these are all uh, luxuries. So, those experiences really helped me. My first full length concert was in a marriage concert. <laughs> I think it was in 1974, and I was asked to sing because Pata uh, Anarya. I'm singing along, everyone in the family knew this guy could sing. Why don't you sing in the... I, I don't remember who accompanied me, on, accompanied me on the violin. By my brother Arjun Bharati played on the Murdangam. And surprisingly, Sri Mushnam Raja Rao played, I think, on the Kenjira. Even though it was for a wedding, it was not uh, uh, just like that. Summa Jalia, you take it easy, it was a Paka concert. And then I won the Tambura Prize in, in the competition held by Indian Finance. Adinana, they used to give a Tambura as the prize. If I remember right, T.K. Govindra sir, T. Rukmani Amma and someone else were the judges. And I was the only male candidate. <laughs> then I won that concert and they had a practice. Suppose you, you win the competition this year, next December, will be offered a stage. So I won it in 1975 and so in 1976 I gave a concert during the December season. Indian finance. Other than it back and other back finance everybody it continued. One turning point I would like to share with you was that uh, I think in 1984 I performed at the Mailapur Fine Arts Club during the December season. And Nikki, my voice was not in a good condition, according to me. So, I deliberately avoided ringing up TVG sir and telling him that I am singing. <laughs> because I wished that he never turned up for the concert. But as fate would <laughs> have it, the moment I started, I, I was startled to see him walking along with a few friends of his. I knew, oh. He came and sat, and I sang. Um, probably the voice wasn't that bad as I thought it to be. And at the end of the concert, he, I went and prostrated him, and uh, he said, Naran Sarav, every man, Cholane. Immediately, for the first time, 
நெக்ஸ்ட்டு ஏப்ரலில் இந்த தேதியில் கச்சேரி எங்கே இன் பெங்களூர் சாம்ராஜ்பேட் ராமசேவ மண்டலி இஸ் எ வெரி ஃபேமஸ் இஸ் எ வெரி ஃபேமஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஃபேமஸ் டயர்ஸ் வேர் பீப்புள் வுட் லவ் டு கோ அண்ட் சிங் சி கே மீ அ டேட் இன் கர்நாடகா மை என்ட்ரி இன்டு கர்நாடகா ஸோ இந்த கான்செப்ட் தான் பேப்படுத்திவே ஃபார் தட் எனக்கு மறுநாளைக்கு இ டோல் மீ நீ எங்கிட்ட சொல்லலை அப்படின்னார் சார் நான் உன் வாய்ஸ் சரியில்லை என்ன வாய்ஸ் நான் பார்க்க மாட்டேன் நான் தெரியாதான் பட் யூ ஹேட் தி ஹார்ட் டு பிரிங் சம்படி And the Narayan Samrao had this habit, if somebody says, please arrange for his concert, he won't do. Unless he comes to the concert, listens to the singing himself and is convinced, he will not do that. So that's why TVG sir brought Narayan Samrao. And he was fortunately very impressed. And uh, I think uh, in Karnataka, my, my rise was quite fast in the sense I was singing in films also in those days. So my, my pronunciation was very acceptable to the Kannadigas. And I also have the knack of picking up the language. Whether it is right or wrong, I say something in that language. So it, it, it created a feeling in them that I was one among them. So I had so many concerts in Karnataka, like a monarch. Karnataka have traveled. All the big venues, all the famous venues, all the non-famous venues, all the hallies, the villages, there were many bakery ayangars who were interested in music. They were always, I mean, if you render Dasar Padas in a very lively way, they will do anything for you. So I became uh, a sort of a pet. musician for all of them. I ruled more in Karnataka than in Tamil Nadu. I, I started giving concerts in uh, Kerala. Again, thanks to TVG, sir. You know, thanks. Uh, he only used to make me sing along with him. He used to sing the same practice. They listen to you and then they will call you. And if you sing well in one temple, news will spread and everyone will call you. And if you sing very bad in one temple, your career is finished. <laughs> so, that's how I started uh, rising in the field of uh, Carnatic music, particularly in Carnatic. Interestingly, yeah, certain things happened I would like to share with you. There was one concert in, in Kumbhagana. It was a Vallalar Vida, Ramalinga Vallalar Vida. So typical concert series, each day one concert. So I thought, okay, we'll give a concert. One or two, I knew only one or two Vallalar songs. <laughs> I landed in Kumbhagonam and the organizer, 
தம்பி வள்ளலார் மழையா போயிடுங்க மழையா ஐ நோ ஒன்லி ஒன் சாங் மேன் எப்படி சொல்ல முடியும் ஓகே ஃபார்ச்சுனேட்லி ஐ ஹேட் அ புக் வித் வள்ளலார் புஸ்தகம் ஸோ கான்சர்ட் போது அந்த புஸ்தகத்தை இப்படி வச்சுப்பேன் ஐ ஃபிளிப் தி பேஜஸ் ஓகே டக்குன்னு ஒரு பாட்டு வந்து அது பாடலான்னு தோணும் என்ன ராகத்தில் வருதோ வாட் எவர் ராகா தட் கேம் டு மை மைண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் சிங் இன் தட் ராகா அது சோரங்கரம் போட்டு யாருக்குமே தெரியாது சடனாக ஒரு பாட்டு சாம கான பிரியன் தர்ஷகன்ட்டன் <laughs> தபாலும் ஒரு ஸ்கேல் கொடுத்து இப்போ பாடுதான் பாடிடுவேன் ஐ ரிமெம்பர் வெரி வெல் ஒன் டே டிவி ஜி சார் என்ன பண்ணார்னா கான்சர்ட்டில் எம்எஸ்டி சார் வாஸ் அக்கம்பனிங் இம் எம்எஸ்டி சார் ஒரு நாளைக்கு நான் அக்கம்பனி பண்ணும்போது கொஞ்சம் இட் வாஸ் நாட் வில்லிங் டு ப்ளே ஓகே ஸோ டிவி ஜி சார் சொன்னார் நீ கவலைப்படாத நான் ஆரம்பிக்கிறேன் யூ கண்டினியூ அப்போ ஒன்றும் பண்ண முடியாது சரிண்ணா திடீர்னு ஜெயந்த சேனா எப்படின்னு தெரியாது திஸ் ஹேபிட் ஐ ஐ ஐ நோட்டீஸ் லேட்டர் on quite a few occasions or on many occasions i would suddenly take up a raga which i would nev- never attempted even at home even for or uh, practice sake kuda panirke maaten for the first time on the stage vandru eppadi varu nu theriyadu but it, it it used to happen so i only un- understood later that this has been given see it has to be given you know. அதே மாதிரி டிவி ஜி சார் வந்து ஏதாவது கோரல் சொல்லி தருவார் டக்குன்னு உடனே வந்துடும் ஸ்ட்ரகிளே கிடையாது ஏதாவது புது ஹீ வில் டீச் அ வெரி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் பல்லவி இன்னும் நாளைக்கு மார்னிங் நைன் ஓ கிளாக் நைன் தேர்ட்டி கான்சர்ட் இருக்கும் ப்ரீவியஸ் ஈவினிங் செவன் தேர்ட்டி வேறு ஏதாவது கான்சர்ட் மட்டும் இருக்கும் பாரதிங்க வா நாளைக்கு என்ன பாட போகிறாய் என்ன சார் ஒரு பல்லவி பாடுங்க ஐயோ பல்லவி நாளைக்கு ஆடு அவ்வளோதான் ஒன்னே இஷ்ட காத்தால அந்த பல்லவி of course i have made blunders too i have no shame in admitting all those things because i feel you 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 grow by falling and rising you fall it doesn't mean you fall for ever you have the guts to get up again you have to rise again and move on so on the rise and fall rise and fall of course not many blunders or or a few occasions i have made blunders அதை வந்து நான் உடனே அப்படியே ரொம்ப ஃபீல் வெரி பேட் அப்படிலாம் ஒன்றும் இல்லை அந்த சமயத்தில் கொண்டே வர அப்படி இருக்கும் தேர் ஆஃப்டர் இட் வேனிஷஸ் ஸோ திஸ் எபிலிட்டி வாஸ் காட் கிவன் இட் வாஸ் மீ ஆல்ரெடி இன் மீ ஸோ ஐ ஹேட் ஒன்லி டு அண்ட் ட்ராவல் இட் நான் ஒன்றுமே புதுசாக பண்ணி யோசிச்சு அது மாதிரிலாம் ஒன்றுமே பண்ண வேண்டியிருக்கல சப்ப தெரிச பாடம் தரம் தெரிச சாங் சடன்லி யூ கம் அண்ட் சேஞ்ச் டூ த்ரீ சங்கதிஸ் நான் விஷயம்னா உடனே பாடிவிடுவேன் சார் விஷயம் It is not an achievement. It was given to me. I am a blessed bloke, I am telling you. In the first time in the Bharadiyar family, I was born into, into the family. And then parents who were so willing to do anything to promote the talent of the son. Then you... meet great men move with them and mari or charilla adala vandu i sang for mb srinivas uh, choral music la it's a science by itself no so my choral music la be paada mudiyadhe it requires a tremendous discipline 
You see, because he, I, I was singing as a middle tenor. You sing and the fellow next to you will be singing some other register. Carnatic music, if you are going to sing, you will be distracted by all those things. You won't learn. Ademaradana singing light music or singing in a movie. In those days, singing for a movie was looked down upon. Even I remember Samungadi Mama asking me, Nada, Nareya Kasu Tharala Da Unukku, Anga Pohre. He asked me, TV le naam poi paarre ya daani? Abdi ni asked me. So, it was not taken well. Say singing in the movie or singing for Doordarshan. One musician, I even remember, remarked, Nen nindu nindu paarra ane mo friendu. Yeah, I put it pochana, later on when I sang in a concert, he commented, Oh, part of Okan Dirke. That was the outlook. So, Bharati Centenary was celebrated in 1982. Apo, I had another turning point in my life, in the sense, I was introduced to the television. Okay, Apo, I knew the power of the television, I'm telling you. Subsequently, I was a trauma. Sir, I was a great man. One day, there was a call. From a friend of mine, some Raju Gopal and I said, Bharati, go to AVMC. Shyam sir is waiting for you. Flak, I should have gone. I know, Shyam sir, I know Shyam sir is a very music director. But for what? Movie, I have no idea. AVMC, the call was at 11.30. I was working in an office. So, I was requesting Kenji Kutadi. Then I ran to the studio. For the first time, Shyam sir, no. I met Shyam sir. I think myself and Shailaja had to sing a song. The experience was very new. Tani tani booth la potu duwa. Console la potu duwa. Booth la potu duwa. Separated grid la arko. We have a headphone. I have never sung using a headphone. It was so confusing. Tabala vasi kardi. Allah kai kardi. But there is a small lag. You know, I didn't have the heart to lose it too. That's the part in it. That's the part in it. That's the part in it. I think the next call was from L. Vaithanathan. There was a movie called The Heard of the Manidhan, which had only Bharati songs. And then the big thing, big name came across, MSV Sahib. He is a phenomenon, I am telling you. For the first time, I said, Don't you want to sing in the rehearsal? He said, Don't you want to sing in the rehearsal? He said, Don't you want to sing in the rehearsal? Sanggalamada orang mai ya, katal orang mudi ada ya, ni, elu sahaja, apa orang orang? Ini saya, papa ma, rehearsal lepas tu bawa ma, tak la? Anban manivi, ame hindra vid, harga anu ovi akali kudam, ni tu bana. So, started writing. Or, or sekunjan ajar he was keeping with me, ni elu tak tak tak. Ini adril, sah notation. There was a change in his face. Teri maya, teri maya. Udane respect na maru itta. Karnati music teri maa. Teri maa soran na teri. Actually, rendu song recording kurutta nda. Andha oru paattu thang rikasal. Adhi kapra, he had a lot of faith in me. Respect for me. Apra unne next to G.K. Vengadesh. I was introduced to G.K. Vengadesh. He is one great music director. He is a contemporary of MSV Sars. Our Kappana songs, they were all super hits. So I sang, started singing more in Kannada. And then uh, I sang in that uh, Sanskrit movie for GBIR, Adi Shankaracharya. Balamuli Sarvazi scored the music. And then I sang in some Telugu, one or two Malayalam songs. So each one gave me an experience. Uh, the what film, sing, film singing teaches you is how you work with musicians, how you cooperate, how you coordinate. Carnatic music, all compositions are there. You are the boss, you have to sing the raga, what, you plan everything. But in film singing or other singing, somebody else teaches you what to sing. And you have to please that person as well as the listeners, as well as the people. So it calls for a great discipline and attitude. I thoroughly enjoyed it.
ஒரு கச்சேரி ஐ வாஸ் சிங்கிங் அஸ் ஐ வாஸ் சிங்கிங் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாங் சர்ர சூட நின் வேண்டுக்கலையா தனி பை நேரு அப்படி ஒன்று வந்தது அன்ஹர்ட் ஆஃப் யூ தாட் சம் மஸ்கூட் ஐ தாட் சம் மஸ்கூட் கானின் உடனே ஓப்பன் தி ஃப்ளாஸ்க் அண்ட் ட்ராங்க் சம் மில்க் அண்ட் வாட்டர் இம்பெண்டிங் விஷயம் தெரியாதப்போ கொஞ்ச நேரம் வண்டி ஓடும் திடீர்னு மறுபடியும் சாப் ஆகும் சவுண்டு அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் தி கான்சர்ட் எவ்ரி திங் வுட் பி நார்மல் மை வாய்ஸ் வுட் சி நார்மலி வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் யூ வோக்கலிஸ்ட் இஸ் இஃப் யூ எஸ் சோர் த்ரோ ஓட் ஆர் காஃப் கஷ்டப்பட்டு பாடின பிறகு அப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படி ஒன்றுமே இல்லை பர்ஃபெக்டாக இருக்கும் ஆஸ் அட் ஓகே சம் இன்சிடென்டல் திங் ஸ்ட்ரேஞ்ச்லி இட் கெப்ட் கம்மிங் அட் எவ்ரி கான்சர்ட் எப்படி எடுத்துனா ஐ வு நோ இட்ஸ் கம்மிங் ஐயோ என்ன ஆகிடுனாக்க அது வாய்ஸ் வில் சிட் அதுக்கப்புறம் நகராது இட் ஓன் மூவ் சி ஐ ஐ குட் ஈஸ்லி நான் ஈஸ்லி ஐ குட் சிங் த வாய்ஸ் ஓன் மூவ் ஐ டு புஷ் இட் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் வாட் வாஸ் எ ஜாய் டேர்ன் இன் டு ஏ டார்ச்சர் வை யூ வாண்ட் டு அண்டர் கால் திஸ் ஐ செட் ஐ வாண்ட் டு put a big namaskara i managed as far as i could and then or uh, ramana season after it was over i had some 8 10 concerts all done very badly then i went to apollo hospital as if i would go to an office i used to go there daily from department to department ent everything is fine why you are uh, i think you are imagining it too much the doctor said so what was that to imagine too much i'm not able to sing everything is perfect okay check your uh, gastroenterologist edha the acid reflux no problem see pulmonologist hey your lungs are powerful than mine man don't come here i think something may be wrong with your cardia cardiac thing see a cardiologist so i went round and round, round and round and finally uh what what was arrived at was uh, dr kameshwaran mohan kameshwaran was the doctor however he first uh, told me the exact problem that it was a functional problem that everything will be all right but it won't function and it was a bit amazing that sir function all end than i varen see something is not functioning i go to you you tell me it's a functional problem no <laughs> then he said no that's the nature adavad there is something called the writer's arm the writer would know what to write how to write everything but when he wants to write his hands won't move for you it is sitting in the voice box at one point the voice will sound beautiful at another point it will just cra- crash i would sonna one i i think it was midnight when, when this happened myself and my wife were there i looked at my wife her face was dead and gone so i asked mon commissioner <laughs> sign language <laughs> and then no 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 don't close yourself like that we can try so many things we can try voice therapy we can try uh, botox injection we can try a surgery micro surgery na it's all right i said it's all right i'll handle it so that was the beginning of the issue and of course ad vand it led me to so many other revelations looking back everything is uh, enjoyable including the fall ja it comes out of the blue suddenly takes you by surprise only to teach you to look inward that's what i learned my first problem was how to survive you know i was in my 40s early 40s children la on the 10 12 years and mari and the stage there ka and i was almost a celebrity and so everyone knew you know, what are you going to do electronics la marandu perdu in 1980 way back <laughs> come a long way 
and you don't know anything other than music. I tried my hand in doing some own business and failed miserably. So my father told me, you don't do business, you don't, don't know how to do business. My wife was working, uh, but I think at that time, uh, yeah, my second child was there. Upon the other, she had also quit her job. Other than music, uh, one other fascinating, fascinating thing was driving. The travels I mean, you have to make a livelihood, no? See, you are used to a particular comfort of life. But again, as creation uh, would have its own way. Somebody asked me to do music. They said, uh, you, do, you can do music very well, you don't want to compose music. But the problem is, now I'm able to speak like this. At the time when I was hit with the problem, there was virtually no sound. The maximum volume. And nobody can understand a word that I'm speaking. How will I sing and show? Marbidium, creation has its own mysteries. Inna huna, na, and the voice over. In the bottom, I won't be able to sing in a normal way, but I will sing in falsetto, head voice. So I managed to conduct orchestras, devotional items. So I never ever dreamt I'll be a music composer one day. <laughs> and that too for dance. I do not know ABCD of dance. Somehow, uh, the department kula shuffle pantra madre, creation, took me out from there, put me in in this. It's a fascinating field. Everything happens on its own accord in Gardhanala. I now I am totally enjoying this process now. I, I am sought after much more in this field and I am loved and given respect in this field. So, it's all fine. I think I owe my life to my parents and to my wife. You know, my parents uh, did everything to push me into this field, give me all the basic support and everything. My mother used to teach me, now I get the competition of Panaka, she would sit in the altar and pray that my son should win. Whenever I used to go out for concerts and come back to my, come back to Chennai, my father would be waiting outside the gate with the car, whether it is 4 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock in the night. Who will get all these privileges? My wife, supported me. Now, when I was about to quit my job, she was the one who said, don't bother. Just go along. And she was my support, my well-wisher, my programmer, my banker, my caretaker. And she took care of the children because I was very away, busy. Unless somebody gives you support like that, an artist cannot be. An artist won't be born. If an artist has to be born and has to thrive in this world, you should have somebody like that. One day the question arose, is this voice yours? If it were my voice, it would have listened to what I said. That it didn't listen to me, made it clear that it was, <laughs> it was not my voice. You need a jolt to, to look, someone to shake you up and make you look at things as they are. Then I understood that uh, even if this own voice is not yours, what else do you think is going to be yours? So first the revelation was that nothing is mine. Fortunately, it gave me a lot of relief because nothing is mine. So what is going to happen is going to happen. Whatever is bound to happen, will happen. And the uncertainty of life was made very clear. Okay. That opened up many avenues, many avenues. I was struck with uh, chicken pox when I was in UK, teaching assignment, when I was in UK for a teaching assignment. 
My name was about 50 years old, I had a chicken pox. <laughs> At the time, as I was lying down, there was a book. That was a book of Jay Krishnamurti in Tamil. I have never read him before. So, that, the, summa, out of curiosity, I went through the page. It was mind-boggling. But I couldn't read more than one page at a time. So, I couldn't make head or tails. It is very intriguing, but not, I'm not able to assimilate it. I started studying Osho. Wow. Ultimate, Anmari, I, I have never seen a saint like that. After reading Osho, I went back to JK. And then everything started... You see, I started feeling a lot of space within me. I felt as if all the, so many walls were being kicked inside me. Abdi, also, whatever I had a feeling, could see a lot of light, a lot of space. And uh, everything is impermanent. And then the things now say, the night the, I was a, you will be surprised to know, I was a very, very hardcore puja man. Puja na sadha na puja. I used to carry with me wherever I went in a puja box. I was initiated by my Guruji, TVG, initiated me into Ganapati Upasana, Anuman Upasana. And then I went to the Shakti Upasana. Ah, I used to carry the idol, I used to carry honey with me perform Abhishekam on the idol, go out, uh, buy flowers, offer it to the Lord, sing a song, or chinna gold chain where a wife is going to be, that's why the Swami is going to be there. What is it that you are doing? Prayer. What is it? What is it? I don't know. That's why I don't know. See, what you do is, you pray to God, I want this. I want my uh, children to be well placed in life. I want a good house. I want to be a great singer. All wants only. So I, I understood that a prayer is a desire. <laughs> you may call it a good desire, but it's a desire. Tapakna or thread arkaramariya feeling. Whom are you praying to? God. What do you know about that? I don't know a thing about that. I heard stories, all those things. Said, who are you? Who is the one praying? Who are you praying? Okay, to look at anything as what is and not have your own mental projections on anything. And the clear perception of looking at what is made a dramatic change in my outlook. Once I remember, over a, yes, you know, a friend of mine, she asked me, Bharati, you come to Varla, ma? And then she asked. And I asked her, when you are doing very well, you never ask that question, right? You never ask. But when it is snatched away or taken away from you, then you, how, how, how why me? How me? No, no question was there. How me are you talking about? No. What I am talking is, is the fact, is the truth. That it was given to you. It was no more required of you. So, other than you have been allotted a different job. What I learned was that you shouldn't fight with life. You should move with life. If you move with life, creation takes you to all places because it is very kind. It will take care of whatever you want. It will take care of you very well. Learn to flow with life. It, it taught me. That was one of the highest. So, the so-called I dropped all the pujas and everything. People thought, oh, this fellow was heartbroken. Out of depression, he is doing, he is doing all these things. No. Out of understanding, I have done that.
the first dancer who gave me an opportunity to do music was malathi ayenga subsequently it was rama bharadwaj i think after that uh, priyadeshni govind was the first one with whom i worked then by moving with the dancer and observing what they want i can understand what they want i was able to understand what they want and as i told you i'm a lucky bloke everything was given so this also was given i never struggled to do any composition number ta kata adwa tan tan vandru it was how it happened and then ramananjali i was doing for ambika kameshwar sharda natarajan they also said, they, they asked me to do whole ballet some 15 20 songs were seen she will tell me the story now the gunade i wouldn't return lyrics so i wrote the lyrics i set it to music that was an experience by itself ambika kameshwar sharda natarajan's father ar natarajan sir had written a book on ramana life history of ramana it was titled timeless in time so one day asked me would you translate this into tamil oh my god i translated it in tamil adu or thani revelation when you go through the life history of a seer that was another turning point so na i i titled it as kala matradam kala timeless in time no? so i put it as kala matradam kala so the i just wanted to mention that adale because i because i was born into bharatiya's family literature was also part of the family i, I loved literature i loved poetry and as a composer you should be able to appreciate poetry if you cannot appreciate poetry you cannot be a composer in my opinion humble opinion whatever may be the language see if it is an unknown language i lost for the meaning word to word meaning of the whole thing then whatever the song says ad apdi music a varum and i never plan composing la vandu today i'll go and do a piece in mohanam i'll do a piece in arabi apdi la onnum varadu when i sit there whatever comes is that it comes and uh, what i have noticed is unless it occurs it's nice to me adu vella varad otherwise the tune itself won't take shape unless it is nice it is very good only it takes shape varo then i will sing and show so far nobody has uh, mean uh, say no no i don't like it a change man apdi and the and the occasions they would have asked for changes but mostly it goes through so is one or or it's a very strange phenomenon because you don't have to do anything i'm telling you honestly i just go there and stand kar mari with a vessel mari i just part over a situation they'll tell me a situation i'll just keep quiet and then it flows whatever flows i write down mundi adu adu kuda i didn't write down avadi apdi tak nu soliduven then nobody so many pieces were lost in the sense yeah. suddenly somebody was you did that piece for her no where is that now one theriyad it would have gone it would have been in the notebook apdi paid so you don't know what it is so sai shravanam used to tell me sir why don't you write buy a pad and write sir so then my daughter uh, bought a tablet tab a or a samsung tab buying kuda so i started writing in that so in the more compositions uh, then i moved to uh, ipad and stored everything so that we can have a record of what is being written and the isla there have been quite a few interesting episodes in the sense for bala devi chandrasekhar i did one project for karna avula research panni avula meticulous she gathers all the information and gets things done if i remember i think or 60 68 ragam in the valley la கர்நாள மொத்தம் சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட் ராகாஸ் வேறு அப்புறம் ஜெயந்தி சுப்பிரமணியம் வந்து ஜானதன் சீகல் ஒரு ப்ராஜெக்ட் பண்ணினான் தேர் வேர் நோ லிரிக்ஸ் ஓன்லி மியூசிக் அண்ட் ஷி வாண்டட் ஓன்லி கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் நோ கொஞ்சம் மாடனோ எதுவுமே வேண்டாம் தட் வாஸ் எ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட் அந்த மாதிரி ஸோ மெனி பீப்புள் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஆல் தி டாப் டான்ஸர்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் ஒர்க் வித்
Creation has shown me wonderful set of people, wonderful dancers. Ella names is all Almost all the dancers that I have worked with have taught me one thing or the other. And I have learned so many things. And none of them believe that when I say I do not know anything about dance. Ah, no, you are sorry, when you are playing, sir. <laughs> but the fact is, I do not know. I only know to some extent. See, whatever I have observed, the I try to compose. And it has been a fascinating experience. You work with in different genres, um, different deities, different themes, many various kind of products. And the Sai Sravanam has been a great influence. He's a musician and a technician. And uh, working with him taught me how to stick to a particular standard. He was so you know, sort of the strict in maintaining the standard of composition. Now he would to go he will not let go. So I, I learned it from him. Amazing sense of hearing has got. So we learn. Otherwise, what I mean is, this journey is a, is a process where you continuously keep learning too and enjoying too. Therefore, uh, we work with all types of dancers. Arvind Kumar Sami has produced magnum opuses, brilliant composers and brilliant productions. I am very, very fortunate because he took me to Singapore. He gave me an opportunity. Jum, 
Nadi for uh, Leela Ka. Unheard of. Beautiful songs from Sangam Poetry. The rare song of uh, Girish Karnad. process you work with so many um, great dancers get to understand their, their ideologies their concepts how they look at dance and how i look at dance how music is the common bridge between for everything it's a great journey i always had a smiling face i have a smiling face and i laugh a lot so that itself i think it's it puts at ease if i am very tense and i am very ah like that then it gets transferred to the other person isn't it so if i am very smiling and jovial other things i have seen many things in life i i have seen my me fall as a vocalist so i nothing is big thing for me everything is a play if an artist is not in a good mood we'll try to politely tell him not boost his ego but praise him cajole him speak nice words to him apologize first if something is wrong sorry le immediately say sorry na na manichir that way it relieves me first still if it doesn't work we'll say okay pack off today we'll see tomorrow if something doesn't work our fellow will tell me sir la vale ga vad maatenga sir change it even in the in the tunes were in the home in the studio i would have come prepared with a tune he will hear for the first time and say i don't like it everybody else would have liked it i am pretty close sir i don't think it suits me at first it used to irritate yeah. then i used to look at it in a different way the motive is that everyone should like it so let us look at it that way so i changed the, if he did not didn't like the tune i'll change it on this spot you know what's the benefit it kills your ego i really took it that way it kills my ego then welcome it you grow unless you drop all your baggages you can never thrive you cannot fly, fly high I did a project for Sathya Satchitananda Swamiji, working with 108 musicians, 108 Surutis. <laughs> Very difficult. You have to deal with 108 egos. Isn't it? It was a lesson. You know what I used to do? Before starting the rehearsal, I'll say, Pranams to each one of you. Each one of you. Each one is a great with one here. Our job is, He is not who is the great with one music is greater than all of us so together we are doing a music performance so put it as the 
priority. That is the first thing. I used to prostrate and then start the rehearsal. They are all experiences which teach you submissiveness and uh, don't allow your ego to rise. Unfortunately, heart and ego are very good friends. The ego tries to tell the artist that he wants the art. Unfortunately, he falls into the trap and he comes to a conclusion that it is he who is capable of doing that. I know what I can handle. It is my capacity. I mean, it creates a falsity. Unfortunately, it is not so. It's a trap. You know, one anecdote I'm telling you is that in Ramana Rode's life, la, the, once the, the, somebody gave him a peacock to be raised. Normally, he doesn't accept, but when devotees come and uh, impose it on him, okay, let it be. So there was a peacock. It used to follow him wherever he went. One day, somebody had drawn a rangoli or a kolam, mile pulli kolam. Looks like a peacock. Uh -huh. So Bhagavan entered, the, the, my, the peacock followed, but when it saw the rangoli, it stopped. Bhagavan was a few feet ahead and he looked back and said, Hey, that's the room call and da. Bhagavan is here. Wow. But it didn't move. And I believe he told the devotees, this is the problem for all the artists. They think they are the art. And even the Bhagavan, even though they have the divine person standing very close to them, they are not aware of it. It was a simile, Mari. Bhagavan is here. So it masks your true nature. Your true nature. He used to say, so I, I personally found this in, on, on so many occasions that art and ego, unfortunately, try to go together. Even I have scoffed at life in the sense, what sort of life is this? Why should you live like this? What's the purpose? Then one day I understood by, by going through some the lives of the seers that life is all, already beautiful only. Your attitude towards life is what makes it look dull or intimidating or uninteresting. So that changed my perspective. So life is beautiful as such. Why you? Because we lose touch with creation, see, we are not in touch with creation, we are not in touch with nature. See, everywhere the mind comes into play. The mind is a tool to be used, but unfortunately it is ruling us, it is using us, we have let it use us. So, in earth, everywhere the mind has made its entry, everywhere we have opinions, everywhere we have judgments. So every, whenever you have so many concepts, you are bound to land in conflicts. And it, these conflicts give you the feeling that life is uninteresting. But if you are in touch with life, what happens is, it makes the other way, it brings liveliness in, in you. Tamil, I call it as weirp. It is so lively. So every word that you utter is brimming with life. Every activity that you do is full of life. Then when you are in contact with life, what happens is, it is so tasty. It is tasteful and uh, you don't crib, you don't complain, you don't uh, scoff, you don't uh, criticize, nothing happens. So your attitude towards life changes. Everything is fine. There is nothing bad. There's nothing wrong. And we have divided life so much. Divided, divided everything. That, this. You, me. Mine, yours. See, there is no sharing. There is no togetherness. There is no approach to oneness. Then definitely the quality of life will also be divided. So instead, if you can look at life as a whole, 
take away all these divisions, if you are in close touch with life, then you are full of life. When you are full of life, others are also full of life. So the continuous process, it's a, it, it catches on, Grammari. That's what it has taught me. There is a beautiful song of Bharati. Anbu vadi vahi nirpal tun belama val yidaipal Akanikam yamum val seigai Idayar nunarnda varhalu kundu eegai Aval adiyai anadiyai akandari vahal Undan arivum aval meni ilor seigai அவள் ஆனந்தத்தின் எல்லையற்ற பொய்கை இன்பவடி வாகி நிற்பள் துன்பெலாமவள் இழைப்பள் இதெலாமவள் புரியும் மாயை அவள் ஏதுமற்ற மெய் பொருளின் சாயை எனில் எண்ணியே ஓம் சக்தி எனும் புண்ணியமோனே வர்ணித்தம் எய்துவார் மெய் ஞானம் என்னும் தீயை எரித்து எட்டுவார் இந்நானெனும் பொய் பேயை காலமாம் வனத்தில் அண்ட கோலமாமரத்தின் மீது காளி சக்தி என்ற பெயர் கொண்டு ரீங்காரமிட்டு ம் ஒரு வண்டு ரீங்காரமிட்டுலவும் ஒரு வண்டு ரீங்காரமிட்டுலவும் ஒரு வண்டு இசே சண்போடிவாக நிற்பள் துன்பலாம் அவள் இடைப்பள் என்று ஒன்றுதான் ஆக்க நீக்கம் யாவும் அவள் செய்க தட் இஸ் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் த சேம் நமக்கு பிடிச்சா குட் பிடிக்கலனா பேட் அப்படிங்கிறது கிடையாது எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் ஃபைன் மூவ் வித் லைஃப் ஓன்லி மூவ் வித் நெவர் ஃபைட் வித் லைஃப் மூவ் வித் லைஃப் தென் யூ நோ தென் யூ கெட் டு நோ வாட் லவ் இஸ் தென் இட்ஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் நாட் லவ் நா நாட் பிட்வீன் மேன் அண்ட் உமன் எனக்கு ஒன் அது மாதிரி தான் தட் இஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் இட் பட் லவ் கேரிங் ஃபார் அதர்ஸ் இர்ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆஃப் தர் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் ஆர் வாட் எவர் இட் இஸ் தட்ஸ் த ஓன்லி திங் தட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு கீப் மேன் கைண்ட் thriving and flourishing